Ashley Hamilton. I'm the director of the DU Prison Arts Initiative. Hi, I'm Dean Williams. I'm the executive director for the Department of Corrections. What's happening here today is the most amazing, groundbreaking thing I think that could ever be in collaboration with two entities. The production is six months in the making, but I think this event and um, having our incarcerated cast and crew out in the public and at the University of Denver is decades in the making. There are 27 incarcerated women that are in the Newman Center in the Byron Theater today, and we are putting on one of the I think the best versions of A Christmas Carol ever. <laughs> we are changing the Christmas system one theater show at a time. Our crew that is here from Denver Women's Correctional Facility um, is all incarcerated. Our cast is all incarcerated, um, which means they designed and put together all the lights for the show. They created all the sound, which is actually being performed live here in the venue. They designed all of the costumes and the makeup, the hair, and in combination with the actors, they've created this beautiful piece of theater. They have worked so hard, and they can't wait to show you what they've got. Thank you so much for being with us. You feel this energy of like a unity amongst us. And I know that's just through, been through the six months of practice that we've put in and working so hard at this. And when you're in prison, that doesn't always come so easily. And I know that that's what Ashley's goal is and I know that's what Director Williams' goal is, is to make a healthy inside community that we grow in so when we leave prison, because most of us will leave prison eventually, that we will be much better human beings. At the foundation of the DU Prison Arts Initiative, when I think about our real aim, it is, it is that, that we're really committed to creating spaces of community. Well, I always say, I don't care how good our play is if you don't like each other, if you can't show up for each other, if you can't take care of each other, because that's our real job. Having something like this come to DU, come to the public, is just an amazing vote of confidence in the progress that is being made in this system. And for the University of Denver to be the one to do that, amazing. I mean, this is giving a platform for people that are yearning to speak and yearning to tell a story and to give that platform means so much. And it is, it's history in the making. The ability to speak, the ability to be proud of what I have to offer in life, yes, I know that that will take me very far in my life. It matters, it changes the atmosphere, like people that normally wouldn't speak are now speaking high, and it just makes people be nicer, and it makes people acknowledge people that they wouldn't acknowledge before. Arts throughout all of history of humanity have given us the human experience in a way we can be felt. We can feel each other's emotion that way. And I think through bringing that into prison, it's allowing other people to heal that have never had an opportunity to. And so what does that serve the outside community? It makes it better inside. And then it trickles out. It's when the officers leave. It's when they go home or case managers go home or anybody that's touched by incarceration. And that ripple effect is huge. I've talked to many people who have seen the show already and I've asked them what their favorite part of the show was and pretty much every single person has said the talk back, which is something we do at the end of the show where everyone comes out on stage and they talk about their experience. The audience is able to ask them questions, give them feedback, um, sing their praises. So when I think about the amount of people that are going to come and see this, I hope that their minds are blown. They're not just here as a show, they're here for all of us to learn. We have taken from society, uh, but this has given us the opportunity uh, to plant a seed for future generations. We all came into prison broken in so many ways. And now, this is our opportunity to put a positive mark on society, to be able to give back to all of you, and also receive the love and acceptance that we have from you. If there's nothing like it. When you have a real light, it shines no matter your circumstance. Yeah. And so the light that you shine tonight on all of us, we will be your ambassadors this week. We will go out and, and, and advocate for you in the world. You are so loved. You are so seen. Your voice is enough. You are enough. The story is more than enough. Live it out. It grows from there and you will continue to grow from there.
I think a lot of people have the idea that prison is lock them up, throw away the key, they don't deserve anything. And so when you start bringing the human conversation back, showing people, free people, that incarcerated people have lives, and how do we make them healthy, and how do we make them good, then those conversations start shifting. To show my daughter how important this was to me, because I've talked about it since day one, she wept seeing me in my costume when I greeted her with a program at our gym door. And through the whole program, anytime I looked at her, she's just clapping, smiling at me, and then afterwards she was like, I'm so proud of you, Mom. And for my daughter to tell me she's proud of me means the world. If the idea behind prison is that people should learn a lesson, right, if that's like the founding idea on that, this is a really beautiful way to do that. Uh, there are not many opportunities like this, and so to provide something like this and kind of have this grand experiment in humanity and how we may relate to one another and grow, and when we see each other emote and empathize with one another, what that does to us. I'm a player and I got to direct the play. <laughs> Claire always says, friends, and that's how he speaks to all of us. And to have somebody go friend and know that he means that is, it's an amazing feeling to know that he trusts us. We've worked so hard to try to make what he tells us come to life. This effort was not just about doing a play, but transforming um, what prison is about and them carrying the torch with me, carrying the torch even ahead of us, to convince all of us that prison can be different and that it is a place of redemption. And as Scrooge said, can we not find a little humanity in all of this? And oh, by the way, the end result of that is that people who are walking out of prison may be a tiny bit better than when they walked inside. 21,000 people incarcerated and more than half of them were returned to the streets of Colorado. It's a conversation we should have. And what kind of people are we returning? And like Dean Williams has said, if it was a business model, 50% of my product's coming out and then they're being returned, I'm not, I'm failing as a businessman. So how do I, as an incarcerated person, become a better product? It's by exposing myself to things that make me grow. But do you buy this, this carol, this Christmas carol that we created? has given us freedom yeah. um, beyond any words that I could ever, ever find. And so I thank you all for witnessing our freedom. There is this tree scene. I'm laying on the floor with my little tree and I'm listening to people. They're like, are those trees? I don't know what those are. What's happening? You know, I'm hearing all these whispers and then all of a sudden I'm like, I like my tree. Why? Because people are wondering about them. What is it? Why is it? What is it important? Why does this matter? And I feel like that's how I am. Why does it matter? Why is it important? I feel like my little tree. It might not seem significant, but in the grand scheme of things, when we dance out there with our little trees that are twigs, and we, we do our little part, we are significant. <laughs>